Hi, this is Eric Chetwin from uh, Everbridge on the Healthcare Solutions team. And today, uh, we want to. I want to talk to you a little bit about some of the challenges that we see in the healthcare market, particularly facing hospital emergency departments, and uh, some of the solutions or some of the capabilities that are out there from a communication perspective. So emergency departments across the U.S. are under increasing pressure, as I'm sure many of you know. They need to respond very quickly to high acuity patients, such as folks who are having strokes or heart attacks, trauma patients. Uh, and their response times today are costing hospitals overall somewhere about $2.1 billion for those types of cases. And some of the difficulties they face there are things such as really the ability to, to collaborate quickly around those patients, particularly when we talk about bringing in outside specialists into those particular uh, patient treatment situations. 40% of EDs in the U.S. actually have trouble, for example, having uh, an on-call neurologist to participate in stroke assessment. The other thing that's really facing many emergency departments, and if you work in one today, you, you know this, is really increasing patient volume. Uh, and throughput issues within the ED. And that's really got to do with a lot of non-urgent, non-emergent cases arriving in the ED and uh, really challenging that, abi that, that ability to quickly process patients through. And over half of the EDs in the country today actually are over capacity for, for those reasons, which means that uh, we end up with diversion hours and, inability and patients leaving without being seen, without receiving treatment. So Everbridge has been doing work with a lot of our customers around how to resolve some of these issues and what we can uh, help support from a services and technology perspective. And I want to share one of those with you today. And this is really based on some work we did with the Mayo Clinic. Uh, and the example I'm going to share with you is really around stroke patients. So in our story today, we have Mark, our paramedic. And Mark actually has just recently um, arrived at, Dr. at Mr. Thomas's house and is picking him up. And Mr. Thomas has signs and symptoms of a stroke. So he's obviously going to take him into the emergency department at the local hospital. Using communications, really what we need to have happen here is Mark is able to quickly communicate with uh, Gina, our triage nurse, who's back in the emergency department, and say, I have a possible stroke patient. Gina quickly is able to respond and say, call a stroke code. And what happens here is then we're going to bring a neurologist into the situation. This is an on-call neurologist. Our, uh, Dr. Adams is actually not present in the hospital, uh, but is on call in this case, 1130 at night. So he's uh, actually on call from home, but dials in to respond quickly and is able to communicate directly with Mark, our paramedic, while uh, Mr. Thomas is still in the ambulance on the ride in and says, let's do a stroke assessment. And for those of you who uh, work with stroke patients, you know there's different levels of stroke assessment. So this is really the national standard one uh, with, the, with basically doing uh, what we need to do is lay our eyes on the patient in order to conduct the assessment and really help mark. And so, you know, using technology that's available, we can do a video consult very easily with, uh, with both Mark and Mr. Thomas to do that assessment completed again on the ride in. We have not yet arrived at the ED. We can call for, in this case, now Dr. Adams and our group conversation is able to quickly call for a fast track to the CT scan so we can do that assessment about what type of stroke Mr. Thomas is actually experiencing. And our triage nurse calls for the fast track and our team quickly responds uh, again so via our conversation that's ongoing here. We have both our on-duty tech George, who's down in radiology, ready to respond at the CT lab, uh, as well as Sally, our ED nurse, who's going to help us manage as, as Mr. Thomas comes into the ED. George clears the CT scan in our scenario here and is able to quickly uh, get everything ready for the arrival of Mr. Thomas. And Sally actually meets Mr. Thomas and Mark at, at the door of the um, emergency department to walk them on down to radiology. She goes down to radiology in our story here, and um, George is able to quickly uh, run our CT scan and actually post the results directly up to the entire team, which includes Dr. Adams, who's still remote. He can see that scan, make an assessment, um, and in this case calls for the administration of TPA based on the blockage that's observed in Mr. Thomas's brain. Sally administers that medication. So this, this entire, this entire uh, transaction is one that has to happen very quickly. And actually in the, in the group that we worked with at the Mayo Clinic, 
we observed that we that we were able to reduce the overall response time for such a uh, workflow uh, by seven minutes. And you know, seven minutes in a stroke patient really equates out to over 13 million neurons, who, which would not die based on the rate that neurons die per minute for stroke patients, or about half a year of brain time for that patient. And that certainly has severe impact on the clinical outcome of the patient. So. You know, one way to think about this is whether the patient's going to be able to ambulate on the way out of the hospital or whether they're going to require assistance and, you know, a more significant rehab. In the case of our study he, we, we conducted, there was actually observed shortened stays even within the hospital. So inpatient days were reduced. Uh, in one case, um, it was observed that 13 days were saved for a patient. We've kind of looked here and started to say, well, what, what does that mean from a financial impact? So as we're starting to talk to a senior management at our hospital, you know, what does that really mean? If you take a couple of those inpatient days at somewhere around $2,300 a day, that's about a 4.4%. $4,500 uh, worth of savings for that particular patient. So this is really just one of the ways that Everbridge is working with clients today to try and manage these uh, high acuity cases and really coordinate teams into collaboration around those patients, rapidly respond um, using critical communications within a hospital setting. Thanks very much and have a good day.